everyone, my name is Ryan with SNH Rabbitry, and today I wanted to give a um, barn tour, I guess you would say, of my smaller sized operation that I have. Currently, I'm in an 8x12 tough shed that I got from Home Depot, and I have about 29 dwarf holes. Um, nine of those are um, 24 by 16 by 14 tall for my adult rabbits that aren't my brood ones, so they're not too big. And then my grow outs, I have 16 12 by 24 by 12 tall. And for my brood does, larger bucks if I have any, I have a four hole um, 18 by 24 by 16 tall. So for water bottles and feeders, I have the Livix flip top no drip water bottles. My grow out holes get the 16 ounce and then my um, larger um, breeding rabbits, adult rabbits, they get the 36 or the 32 ounce. For feeders, I have the systematic feeders from KW Cages and they are three and a half inches on my 16 hole grow up and then for my adult rabbits, they're the five and a half inch one. I don't use the wide mouth ones because it's a little too excessive, not really necessary. Um, I haven't had a problem with those. And then for water bowls, all of my rabbits get a water bottle and a water bowl. I use the Easy Croc um, ABS hard plastic ones and they're really tough. They can rarely ever chew them. And my grow out holes get five ounce um, ABS Easy Crocs, and then my adult rabbits get 10 ounce. A little bit bigger, they run through them a little bit faster. I also use my five ounce Crocs on my carrying cages when I go to shows. So for pans, trays inside my cages, I use pedicure spa liners that they use when you go to the nail salon and get your pedicure done. Um, they are very, very thin plastic. I try not to use too much of them. I don't want to um, pollute the earth too much. Um, they slide onto these plastic door trays really well. And I normally don't have a problem with them tearing if I'm very soft with them. Um, just don't be too rough. And those work very well. I can pull out the tray. They have um, an elastic on them and they bunch up and then I just throw it away. Over here, I have a 48 inch long um, evaluation table that I use for evaluating juniors. There are four holes total and that pretty much works for me. I normally will run through um, all my Otter Junior bucks or my Otter Junior does. I run them through in a judging class, how they would at a show. And then I also, when I'm evaluating, I think about what I'm looking for. Am I looking to replace a herd buck? Am I looking for more brood does or just show rabbits? So that's how it is for evaluation. And then back here, I have a um, groom and go table that goes with me to shows. Sometimes I set up a little photo booth back there and take pictures. Um, it all just depends. Most of the time it's just taken down and I have different grooming brushes and all that in there. And then right over here, I have this large sh uh, shelf that holds my um, spa liners that I use for my trays. It holds um, trash bags and um, my show coop cups, extra feeders and bottles, cleaning utensils, my scale, nest boxes, any replacement parts that I need for my cages, whatever it be, it's pretty much up here. And then all the way in that corner, I have all my um, carrying cages stacked up and normally they're put together ready to go when I'm needing them I can use them I try to keep it very neat clean and organized in here um, it really cuts back I don't have much of an odor in here in my trays 
I use pelleted bedding, um, the pelleted equine bedding. Uh, I normally break it down um, with water, throw a little bit in there. Normally don't have odor. Normally I have a fly strip in here that takes care of any gnats, flies, whatever it be. I rarely have insects. I also sometimes, um, if it's a hot day outside, I put this outside. It's one of the automatic um, mosquito and fly sprays from Country Vet. That stuff is amazing. My AC unit I have running back there, it's normally set on 68 degrees and it's a 12,000 BTU LG unit that um, pretty much always runs. Um, fully electric in here with three bulbs and two outlets. So I use the outlets for um, my AC unit. Over there I have a clock radio on so if it starts storming then they, um, they don't get spooked. And then if I ever need an electric cord for anything I can just plug it in. So. That's about it. Thank you so much for watching.